Hello, all my Pokey Bros and Pokey Ho. You know who you are. Welcome to PH Balance. My name is Steven with the PH, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. This game just came out today. Uh, we played the first hour of the game. I feel like we're finally getting through the tutorial, and now we're getting to the to the meat of the game. Uh, so we have been told to go up here and speak to the commander. If this is your first time checking out the channel, go ahead and subscribe if you like the content. Go ahead and watch a little bit of the video, figure out if you like it first. But if you do, subscribe, it's free and it helps me out. Leave a like on the video if you like it, and leave a comment letting me know you're here. Yeah, the NPCs aren't super helpful in this game. You know, you you had, so, like, don't get me wrong, Breath of the Wild, not every single character you interacted with was super interesting or anything. You know, you had your pretty, like, standard, boring, just NPCs in the town, but a lot of them did have something to give you, whether it be a side quest or some items or some helpful tips. It's like, this is just, the NPCs in this game are just like any other normal Pokemon game where it's just like, they just spew nonsense. <laughs> They're not important. Hello. I do like you though, Eevee. Who's this big, beefy hunk of a man? Big, big burly dude. I've been waiting for you. I am Komodo, commander of the Galaxy Expedition team. Mm, so you are Swank. Yes, sir. It's an honor. Uh, yes, sir. That's my name. It's not an honor because I don't know who the hell you are. Hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat! Try to throw him? Charge at him. Try to throw him? Like, throw him off guard? Or, like, actually try to throw him? Because I don't... He's a, he's a lot bigger than me. I don't know if I can actually throw him. Um, try to throw him. I, I would like to see it. hey yeah. Oh, great. Didn't animate it or anything. <laughs> Hmm. You've got some fight in you. Your sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us, <gasps> among us, might see your arrival as a portent of disaster, but you passed the trial that was put, put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilee Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Swank, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Yes, sir. Complete. Woohoo! Is there only one team? I thought there were multiple teams we could pick from. So, the commander has also accepted you. But understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed! You see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer toward that goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you'll need this. You obtain a recipe for crafting Pokeballs. Woohoo! Recipe for crafting Pokeballs. Woohoo! One Apricorn and one Tumblestone. It's that easy. And $3,000 as well. You will have to buy the necessary materials. Akari, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Celine. I, I forgot your name. <laughs> now, as the experienced craftsperson here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. You can even make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. Think where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the Craftworks. Basics of crafting. Woohoo! Well done, and Who is this? Anthe. Well done earning your place in our team. My name is Anthe. I'm the local clother. Clothier. My name is Anthe. I'm the local clothier. The professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. I just changed clothes. You got the everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail yourself of the village's hum humble shops. Yeah, now that they're open. This way! The crafts work, Swank! 
You can use the workbench here at the crafts work anytime you need to make an item in the village. And I'll supply what you need to make your first Pokeball once you're ready to begin. Call it my way of saying congratulations on joining us. Just spend the money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best. Thank you, Akari. Go up to the workbench and choose an item to craft, in this case, a Pokeball. Alright, you can use the workbenches in Jubilee Village and the base camps to craft Pokeballs and other items. Crafting items requires a recipe and the necessary materials. Craft Pokeball, one tumble stone and one apricorn. How many can I craft? Oh, I got 20, so I guess I should craft 20. Maybe I should have only crafted one. Maybe that still would have completed it. Oh, -ho! now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. You'll recall, of course, the Pokemon possesses the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. And on that note, here you go. Is it a Pokedex? You received the Pokedex. Woohoo! A volume of a, vo a volume for compiling the collected results of much Pokemon research. Professor Laventon continually adds to it with each report made on new Pokemon species. Cool. Uh, it's literally a binder. <laughs> All right, Cyndaquil, Rowlet. These are the ones we've seen so far, but we've caught a few of these, so what gives? Oh, we can actually probably catch a Togepi in the Obsidian Fieldlands. That'd be cool. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon that are in the Grand Region. You'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out this Pokedex. The same goes for me, of course. I've also got Pokemon to research as a Survey Corps member. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks as I, I, I could use your assistance with. Uh, come join me in the Fieldlands camp whenever you're ready, my good swank. Don't call me your good swank. That just sounds weird. Hey, excuse me. I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. Alright, accepting requests. People who have something to talk about will, uh, to ask you will receive a request icon displayed above them. I guess that's helpful. If you fulfill their request, you may receive a nice reward. It just, it kind of takes away the point of actually talking to people when you know, like, oh, the, the, this specific person... Uh, is going to give me something interesting. The rest of them, like that person there, that person there, the ones with the symbols above them, they're worth talking to, but you're basically telling me that everyone else is not worth talking to. I, I got to point out the things that I don't like because I, I'm giving this game a fair chance because literally this is all I've ever wanted. So I'm going to point out the things that I wish were improved, but I'm still having a great time. I think this is a fun game. Hey, so there's this Pokemon called a Wormple. Have you heard of it? Yes. Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Layton, or Laventon, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Evolving Pokemon. Some Pokemon can undergo evolution, which changes their appearance and stats. If one of your Pokemon has met the requirements to evolve, you'll be able to select the evolve option when viewing the Pokemon in your satchel. Oh, so you actually have to choose to evolve them. And so I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, could you let me have it? There will be a reward in it for you, I promise. Just give me a Wurmple if you can. Easy enough. Don't know why that's the Pokemon of your choice, but we'll go with it. I wonder what a Starly would like. So she's going to want me to give her a Starly, maybe? You're the newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The Survey Corps must have to get out and about to compile that Pokedex uh, book they're working on. Is that right? Well, underway, kindly do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures, but when I see a Starly, I feel simply whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see Starly's entry in the Pokedex the moment you've completed it. 
Adorable Starly. Done. I mean, I caught a Starly. I feel like it should be in the Pokedex. Hmm, those ears. Hmm, no, I can't recall that. Let's see. I know Shinx's ears are have odd markings on them insides, but what were they? Hmm. No use, I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the Survey Corps? If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I've got to see what's in... i got to see one of my... I've got to see one with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what their ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. Alrighty, let's have a peek at those round ears. <laughs> She's so cute. I love Shinx. That's it. It's ears that have yellow cross patterns on them. Kind of like a star. Yeah, like his tail. Can't tell you what a relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and the bone's a thought. Who wrote this? <laughs> Thanks for helping me get that bone out. Nice. Okay, well then can I just show that lady the starly? Okay, I guess I haven't completed it on the Pokedex. Heading outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. Right though, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of yours, or of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my boy. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. Research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number and variety of research tasks. Press the down button to open up your Pokedex. Check the kind of research tasks are available for the Pokemon you've registered. When you've focused on a wild Pokemon in the field using the ZL button, you can also instantly check the research task uh, by pressing down button. Okay, cool. Cool. So I need to get more information on a Starly before my research is complete. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. She always looks angry. Uh, one last piece of advice, Swank. If you see a wild Pokemon attack coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge? Here, watch closely, and remember what I do, so you can do it later. Okay. Huh! Whoa. Sick. That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon's attacks. That way, hopefully you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. The security core had to collect me when I... Got the business end of some Shinx's Thundershock. But don't you worry. I've got lots of experience to draw on, and I'll teach you plenty. A Shinx took you out? Those things are tiny, man. Follow Akari to learn some tips. All right. Do I have to? Okay, cool. There's the there's the dodge button. Oh, all the Pokemon disappeared when I talked to her. Now let's share some Survey Corpse wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with the ZL button, then press down button to open the Pokedex. You'll see what tasks you have for that Pokemon. There's a Bidoof. You might have noticed that you have a research task to do with how many Bidoofs you've caught. That's right, catching just one isn't enough. You need two, then four, then more and more. And when it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ray your Pokemon. Give it a try now. If you want, I'll go on ahead. Number caught 1, 3, 6, 12, 12. So we need to catch up to 25. This is the goal. Number of heavy spe specimens you've caught. Number defeated. Number of different forms you've obtained. Number you've evolved. Wait, defeated? Does that mean I have to kill that many in a Poke battle? Oh man, come on. I don't want to talk, I just want to play the game. I think you've got it, but as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon to check your research tasks for it. It's just ZL then down. Try checking your tasks for Starly next. Yeah, I did it with Bidoof. One of your tasks is to catch a Starly without being spotted, right? For that task, try catching them while hiding in some tall grass. Alright. That was some good advice. Thank you, Akari. I'll go wait for you up ahead. Come catch up once you finish some tasks. I'm trying to. All right. Let's see. And 
Nice. Very good. Did I scare them off? Are they gone for good? Yes, good. Ha ha. Sick. All right. Can I catch the last one without being spotted? He's over here somewhere. Oh, fuck. I'll lead it. Boom, baby. Awesome. Okay. Let's see how we're doing now. Starly, number caught, number you've caught without being spotted. Okay, cool. Number defeated, number of different forms you've obtained. Okay. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um. Boom, baby. Let's fucking go, boys. Go, Rowlet. Um. I remember, well, I guess it's for, like, the bigger Pokemon. You can fight while kind of moving around. Yeah, let's see. Let's defeat him and see. He's, but he's not fighting back. We can just we can just steamroll him. It's kind of interesting. All right, let's see if that's what it really wants us to do. Yeah, you have to kill them. <laughs> you get research for killing them. What is that? Is that a Pokemon or is that just like a plant? All right. Boom. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, there's a Wurmple. Okay, cool. So there are some more... Oh, shit. Da <laughs> I didn't know that you could take damage, let alone fall damage. That was awesome. Okay. <laughs> that was so cool. What? Damn it, dude. Hit him. Yes. <laughs> Catch him, please. Oh, co oh, come on. Boom. Let's go. Come on. Let's do it. Shinx is looking around. It's making me sad because I'm just going to murder him. There we go. Thank you. Level up. Nice. Okay. What is this? Is this something I could pick up? Wood. Cool. So it's, got a, it's getting a little bit more of a Breath of the Wild feel. Once we get past the tutorial stuff that they just keep forcing me to go through. I just want to play the game. Fuck, didn't mean to do that. God damn it. <laughs> I meant to uh, throw a Pokeball at him, not fight him. Uh, Gust. Super effective. Shit. <laughs> well, hopefully there's more. Oh, I can run around while I'm doing that. I didn't even realize that. Ooh, okay. That makes things a little more interesting. Fuck, man. Come on. Fuck. You're not getting away that easy. Hook. Oh, come on. Okay. What is this? I'm seeing this places. Can I do anything with it? No? Can I throw my Pokeball at it? Oh! Sick. That was just a guess. I mean, it made sense. Fuck, not what I meant to do, not what I meant to do. Got him. Sick. Wurmple's been added. Another Wurmple! Huh. Fuck, man. Got him. Sick. Fuck. Get him too. Boom. I'm always getting them on the second and third throw. Sick. I can't. I can't do it like this. That's as far as I can go, though. No, I can go behind it. Attack him. Oh, I can actually <laughs> trip myself up. That's funny. Nice. We're gonna have to catch some of them, though. That's definitely something. I don't know what that is. If it's like a plant or something. Dude, it's literally hitting him. 100%. There we go. Jesus Christ. 
It's a new skill I'm gonna have to work on. Motherfucker, dude, come on! Aim the fucking Pokeball! He's literally sitting still! God dang, man. Holy shit. Ooh, I love these guys. Hold on. Let me do this real quick. I love these guys. Fuck me. Fuck, okay. Boom! Yeah, that's fucking right, buddy. You wanna go? Ooh, he's quick. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We're quicker. Is that what the R and L mean? Hold on. Shit, he's strong. If I go... Oh my god. It never explained this. It's gotta explain this, right? If I go talk to her, is that gonna be what she explains to me? That there is a strong style and an agile style? Because I knew that was a thing, but they never explained it. Okay, items. It's the last one. We gotta make it count. Come on. Show me the money. That's what I'm talking about. I love these guys. Okay, well, I'm out of Pokeballs. I literally ran out of Pokeballs. <laughs> I already caught that guy, but okay. Around here, you can find Pokemon called Bizel. It's got an aggressive disposition. They're so cute. I enjoy them even more than I get to see them running around in the wild. That means it'll try to hit you with its moves, just like Shinx, and you'll need to battle it to catch it. He's so cute. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of your screen turn red. Damage goes away over time, but you won't begin to recover it if you're still being targeted by a wild Pokemon. If you take further damage after the edges of the screen have turned red, you'll become overwhelmed and black out. Okay. And speaking of which, your research tasks for Biziel include seeing it use a certain move. Uh, to be precise, you have to see it use the move in battle. That's right, some tasks require battling. Most tasks require battling. Now, I'll go on ahead. You take care of some Biziel's research tasks, then come talk to me. I'm out of Pokeballs. <laughs> I think, right? Yeah. Okay. And I already caught him. <laughs> Let's go, come on. I'm never not going to use Rowlet. If Rowlet's an option, I'm always going to use him. Alright, Rowlet. Show him what you got. I don't know why he moves first. We're literally six levels ahead of him. Yeah, buddy. I couldn't remember if he was ground in water, but I'm glad that... Oh, well, no, I guess if he is ground in water, grass is still the most effective thing against that. Can I not go up here? Okay. And, yep. I don't think that's going to do much for me. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Cute boy. Okay, come on. Can I come back? Okay, cool. So I can just throw him out and just kind of like hang out with him. I bet if I fall in the water, I like faint or it won't let me fall in the water. One of the two. We should try it after this battle. Boom. Kill it. Dead. Done. Let's go for a swim. Let's see what happens. Oh, no. I can actually swim. That's nice. Never mind. No, I can't. What a dumb thing for me to even think for a second that I could swim. And now I'm about to black out, or I am blacking out. At least the map looks relatively big. Right? Look, I've been practicing the dive move. Do you like it? The dodge? You're really doing quite well for yourself. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. That's what I needed, baby. Big read. A kit containing everything you might need for crafting, even when there's no workbench around. However, you can only use the materials you have in your satchel. That's fine. And here's a recipe for potions, too. Cool. You've obtained the crafting recipe for potions. A recipe for crafting potions from scratch requires materials, one orange berry, and one medicinal leek. With a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using any materials you have in your satchel. So long as you've got an apricorn and a tumblestone, you can make Pokeballs anytime. 
Or with an Orenbarian medical leak, you can make a potion. So do heal your Pokemon. Cool. How goes your research? The cover of your Pokedex will tell you if there are tasks you've finished and can report. Please report back to Professor Laventon once you've got some research tasks good and done. I don't know how long that's going to take. It looks like we've got some, uh... Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> how can I craft? Check my bag. No. Bag. Key items. Craft. How many can I make? 25? Done. Done deal. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you with that. I meant to just catch you. I just threw dirt at its face. You were very cute. Can I get in the tall grass and have him not even notice me? Let's find out. Fuck. Fuck. Me, okay. Whatever. Alright, let's take care of that over there. <gasps> Evie! <gasps> Ponita! Wow, we there's some good stuff over here. That's kind of far away though. Fuck, dude. Okay. <laughs> Apparently if you just aim at it, it'll take care of the rest. Fuck me. Catch. Nice, okay. We're getting the hang of this. Slow and steady. How? The range on this is ridiculous, dude. I swear to God. Fuck me, man. This sucks. You're the big boy. Let's get both of them. Nice. Nice. Okay. God, that was ridiculous. This water I can stand in for sure. There's, there's no reason we wouldn't be able to. No, didn't mean to do that. God dang it. <laughs> Alright, well, let's fuck him up, right? Let's use, uh, strong style gust. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh. Didn't do as much as I thought it would, but okay. And he gets to use two moves in a row. That's not good for me. Oh, man, I don't think that's gonna kill him. Okay, it did. So... Strong style gust basically did as much as a normal gust, it seems. Oh man, I die! I meant to catch him, not fight him. Fuck. Okay. This is not a good idea. Cause okay. How about this? Let's do agile style gust. Let's try to avoid his attacks. Oh, it stunned him. Sick. Strong style gust. Okay, okay. Keeping its guard up. Pony is looking around. Keeping its guard up. Pony ran away? What? Times you've seen it use a strong style move. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't realize those were part of my goals too. Holy shit! It is fucking massive. It's a unicorn. Does that mean it's a rapid dash? I didn't know I could just encounter these all willy-nilly. Holy shit. Um, I'm a little scared, to be honest with you. Okay. Alright. You wanna go, bitch? Let's fucking throw down, bitch! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> this looks like a terrible idea. Level! Oh! Oh! No! Run away! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Come back! Come back, please! Um, let's run. Yes. Let's run away. Come back. Ah! Ah! Run! Run! <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. I didn't know I could just stumble upon them like that. Okay. Thank you. That actually makes me happy. That makes me feel like it's a little more open world esque. Rather than everything being so controlled. Shit, dude, that thing's massive. Okay, does that mean that these, like, weeds we can get to? Yeah. Oh, that's a medicinal leak. I've been seeing those around everywhere. Okay, let's get those. We can make potions out of them. It's just that, like, sometimes 
Some, it's just so hard to gauge. It's, oh my god, he's right there. You're aiming at him, motherfucker. God damn, dude. Oh my god, I swear, I swear to god. Just fucking catch him. Just fucking catch him, motherfucker. God damn, dude. I cannot believe that shit. I still didn't catch him. How hard can this fucking motherfucker be? Catch. Catch. That's what I thought. You just really- you really do have to get right up on them. There's no such thing as like long trick shots or anything like that. Like, I am trying to be as good as I possibly can with like, you know, not being seen by throwing Pokeballs as far away as possible and it's just not doing its job. It's not doing it for me, man. Hey, Shinx, I'm not going to fight you. I know you're going to want to fight, but I'm not going to fight you. I'm just letting you know. I'm literally just going to do this and then run away. Am I being chased? Just stop, dude. You don't want any of this. I'm going to make you faint. I promise you do not want any of this. And the other sad thing, because it's not Breath of the Wild, literally, I... Okay, I was going to say, I can't, I can't run up this super not steep hill right here. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You doing good? That's good. I'm happy for you. Okay. Time, time to go. Oh, -ho! if it isn't a crafting kit, you must have listened attentively to Akari's teaching. Excellent work, dear boy. This seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. Earn money for survey reports. Okay. When you submit survey reports, you'll receive money. Based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught, you'll receive more money if you've fulfilled certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. On that note, let me check the research tasks you've completed thus far. Wow. We're doing pretty well so far. Okay, we've doubled our money. That's good. Mm-hmm. I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. By carrying out research tasks and submitting survey reports, you'll raise the research levels of the Pokemon species you encounter. If you raise a Pokemon's entry to level 10, that entry will be considered complete, and you will have unlocked all of the detailed information to be had about that species. As you carry out tasks and complete Pokedex entries for different species, you'll also gain Pokemon research points, which you can view on the cover of the Pokedex. Once you've earned enough, once you've earned a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up through the ranks of the Galaxy Expedition team. Cool. You've made good progress on research tasks, Swank. I do believe you're ready to move up in the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Celine. It's time you earn yourself a star. Okay, I kind of want to catch that Rapidash, though, you know? I've caught a Wurmple for you, buddy. Have you got a Wurmple you could give me? Yes, I've got so many. I'll give you a good one. I'll give you this level 4 one. Are you sure you want to give this Pokemon? Yes. You really brought me one. You must be as good as the rumors say. I'd like to name this Wurmple right away. Now, I've been told a Wurmple will evolve into a Pokemon known as Beautifly, so I should give it a name with that in mind. Hmm. Hmm, this is a tough decision. Which of these do you like best? Beauticia, Beautifred, or Bugeen? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Beautifred and Bugeen are perfect. I think Bugeen is great. Yes, I like Bugene too. I guess that's decided then. I'll raise Bugene to be splendiferous. A splendiferous beautifly. Wait and see. Can't wait. I hope I actually get to see. Oh, cool. I can roll inside. Hey, what's up? If you have progress reports, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Hmm. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Cool. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition team. Yeah, baby! First star! New rank! You can now use heavy balls. Pokemon up, up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. 
Have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. You've obtained the recipe for heavy balls. A recipe of crafting heavy balls from scratch. One apricorn and I pressed A before I could even read the second part. Revives. One vivid choke and two medicine, uh, medicinal leaks. Okay, cool. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us. <gasps> among us? Like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you do fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. So, Swank, my boy. I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Potato Moki tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Still, we'll be very busy from now on between our survey core duties and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on the request from Beauregard? Yeah, I already completed it. The people of Jubilife aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see, so it... If problems arise, the Survey Corps gets called to help. Indeed so! Some people will ask for your help when you talk with them, while others' requests will need to be, uh, claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, aren't you approached with a request recently, Akari? What's that all about? About that, I was thinking maybe Swank could handle it for me. I was told it would require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... Ah, yes, that request came from May of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui since before Galaxy Team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there's much we might learn from them, including more about local Pokemons. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. The next day. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. All right, thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. If you've caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. Good to know. So, okay, so all the Pokemon we catch are going to be in the pastures, and that's where we can change our team. I wonder how many Pokemon we can keep. I would assume like six, like normal, but who knows. We're going to end the episode here, now that we kind of got to see what the open world aspect of this looks like. Um, you know, there's some ups and downs. I'm having a good time. Uh, there's some things I wish could be changed, but I think the more I play it and the more I get used to it, I think it's just growing pains because it's a style I've never really played before. I've played Breath of the Wild, but they they have a similar feel-ish, but do not control the same, and it's just, it's just different. So I'm willing to give this game the benefit of the doubt. I'm having a good time with it, and I think it's just going to keep getting better and better the more I play it. But thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe if you like this video. I mean, you've made it this far. You probably like it, right? It's free, and it really helps me out. I'll leave a like on the video if you liked it, and leave a comment letting me know you're here and what you want to see next. And I will see you in the next episode. See ya! See <laughs> ya!